Okay, so Women's Ashes Series has been uh, retained by the Aussies. Uh, the Aussie women have, have won the the last game, the last T uh, Twenty match. And because it's a weird way they do the series with ODIs, T Twenties, and a Test match, there's a, a points awarded system. Uh, they've won the, the series with two matches to spare, but it was good to see a reasonable sized crowd watching the games. Um, there's, there's a reason why these two test sides, England and Australia, are the best women's cricket sides in the world at the moment, and continue to be. There, there's just depth. There's, an, there's clearly an involvement with getting young girls playing the game, and it's not just a men's sport anymore. Um, there's a reason why England are the world champions, and there's a reason why the Aussies have won the Ashes series. We can still tie the Ashes series, but because how it works, if you tie a series, the winners of the last series get to keep the trophy. So. The Aussies will retain the Aussies, or the Ashes, women's. Which is interesting, because obviously the men's series starts next week, next Thursday, and there's a lot of negative press guy leading into this, this Ashes series for the men because of the Ben Stokes, Alex Hales incident, and the Australian contract dispute. Um, that sort of overshadowed the build-up to this five-match test series, and the one, one day is in the ODIs that go with it. Um, it has overshadowed... The, the this this test series, and that's one that shouldn't be the case. And but I think that's possibly affected some of the players as well. Um, <coughs> so there's that England on, but the women's game. Uh, it's great to see. Yes, okay, England lost, and I'm a bit disappointed. But at the same time, the Aussie women are just as equally as good as us, equally as talented, and it's great to see. Um, women's sport doing so well and to be well supported that's a crucial thing it was well supported so that is good to see and with a lot of negative press going on about women's sport and mismanagement bullying claims um sexism claims discrimination claims in all sports it's good to see a sport finally women's women's teams do really well and you saw how much it meant to players when they at the end of the match they were shaking hands there were tears of joy on some sides and there's tears of loss on the other but they were respectful. There was none of this sledging, hatred, which I think you need a little bit of, but there's some points where it's just not necessary the game's over. You should leave everything on the field and off the field. You should be respectful, polite, and engage with the community, which is what these players are doing, which is great. That's great to see. Anyway, I thought I'd mention that the Aussies have won the Women's Ashes series again. Um, it's a nice little footnote. Uh, it's a nice little story. <coughs> More with, and this hopefully inspires lots of women and girls to pick up a bat and ball and play cricket. Because um, I like I like playing and watching cricket. I love I love T Twenty. I love the IPL. I love the Big Bash. I like Test matches. I like one days. I don't care what form of the game it is. I will happily sit for five days at a Test match and chill out and be with the. I've sat with the Barmy Army. They are completely mental. So it's good to see that it was a good a good series. And there's still two games left, so it still could be tied. And that is plausible. Australia will still retain the Ashes because they won the last Ashes series, but it, it can still be tied, and therefore England have just got our go out there and just play their best. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll have another video for you next day.